What's up guys, Billy here, and in today's video I figured I would answer a frequently asked question that I get on a lot of my videos, and that is how do I record the iPhone screen when using the DJI Go application. Now you'll know that if you have an Android device, it's fairly easy to record your screen using applications off of the Google Play Store that can do this. But if you're on the iOS side of things using an Apple device, you'll know that they usually don't like these kind of applications on the App Store, and if some of them accidentally squeak through, they'll usually end up being deleted within the next 30 minutes. Uh, so anyway, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to record your screen using an iPhone or an iPad, basically any iOS device. Now usually I record my screen by sitting down at my desk and being connected to my laptop. So right now I can actually plug this in, uh, plug the iPhone in and record my screen using QuickTime Player. But obviously when we're flying our drone around we have to be connected to the remote. So in this tutorial I'll show you exactly how to record the screen remotely. So the first thing that we'll need to do once we jump into the iPhone screen is open up Safari. Once we're inside of Safari, search up Tutu Helper. That is T-U-T-U -T -U space H-E-L-P-E-R, and then we can click Go. Now there's going to be a few different options. The top two should work, but generally I'll click on the second one, which is Tutu Helper dash Tutu app. Now once we're inside of here, click on the download button in the top right corner, and then you'll notice that we have two separate options. We have the VIP option, which is actually a paid service, or we can click on regular, which is free. Now I just use regular, as of course it's free, but if you want to get some of the different benefits, you can choose to do that VIP option. Uh, so from here, we'll click on download now, uh, and then it might take a few times, and then once you finally do end up hitting it, it should say tutuapp.com, we'll like to install Tutu Helper regular version free. Uh, obviously we'll click on install, and then go back to the home screen, and wait for that to do its thing. Once the Tutu Helper application has been downloaded and we try to open it, we'll notice that a pop-up comes up saying it is from an untrusted developer. To get past this, all we need to do is click on cancel on the pop-up, scroll over to our settings application, click on general, and then scroll down to device management. Click on device, dan device management, click on winner media company, and then click on trust, and then finally click on trust again. Once we've trusted the application, we can go ahead and open up the Tutu Helper app once again, and we'll notice that it opens. Now from here, go through some of these introductory screens, um, hit start now, and then finally we'll need to get through this ad, and then here we are, we're in the application. Now from here, up at the top, we can start to search for it. The app we're going to search for is Airshoe, it's spelled A-I-R-S-H-O-U, and we'll click on search. Now sometimes this search doesn't work, as you saw right there, it said data error, so click on cancel and then we'll click on applications, and then within this actual page right here, we'll be able to find it. Now I've found that if you scroll down, it should be towards the bottom, but an easier way is actually to click on the boxes in the top. So we'll notice that it has four different pages, uh, like a website does, and we'll scroll over to the second page, and it actually says Air Shoe. We'll click on that, and then the application screen should show up or should open up. Now from here, we'll click on get it free in the bottom, and we'll have to wait for it to download. It should only take a few seconds, and then after that, we'll click on install, and then sometimes it pops up with a secondary install option. Uh, there we are, hit install once again. And then once we go back to the home, we'll notice it begins to actually install on our device. Now from here, again, when we open it, it says that it's from an untrusted developer. So we'll do the same process, go to settings, and then we'll click on the Shanghai a Shop Technology Company. Click on that, click on trust, and then click on trust once again. Now both of the applications have been trusted, both Tutu Helper and Airshoe. Once we jump into Airshoe, we'll notice that we have to first say whether we want it to allow notifications or not. I'll click allow, get through the application or get through the ad, hit agree, and then from here we'll notice we're in. Now we have this application that can record our screen. Within this application, the way to actually start recording our screen is to click record, and then from here we'll notice that we have a few different options to change. First of all, we can change the title of ours, so I'll just title it uh, Test, and then I'll click Done. Next, we can choose the orientation, whether we want it to be in portrait, uh, landscape from left to right, or upside down portrait. I'll just choose portrait for now, since, of course, I'm in the portrait mode. And then again, um, oops, I actually backed out. So obviously, again, uh, it's going to be called uh, Test, and then the orientation is portrait, and then the resolution, we can choose between 480 and 1080p. I always go with 1080p. Now after we're done, we'll click on next step, uh, hit OK if you want it to use the microphone, and then the final step once we get to this screen right here is scroll up, click on AirPlay mirroring, and click on AirShoe iPhone. 
Now, right now it says that it wasn't able to connect. That's because I'm currently plugged in recording from a secondary method I use. As I said, I can use QuickTime on my Mac. Um, but this is a way that we can do it remotely. You won't get this little error if you're if you're not using this method. So again, if you're not connected, not already recording your screen like I am, it should work. Uh, so guys, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here, as I have been trying to upload daily. Also, leave me a comment down below if you have any questions about this little method that I showed you guys. It's always changing, so I will keep updating this video. I believe I posted the last video on this method a couple of weeks ago. Uh, but this method is fresh, it's new, it's right now working. And if it's not working, I'll make sure to have an updated video down in the description. So make sure to check down there if I've added a different video. So guys, as I said, this video is coming to an end, and as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.